Is there a neuroscience of wisdom? I think so. I mean, well, you know, we have a grant actually that has wisdom in the title. So that so was a little bit of marketing, <laughs> you know, to, um, to the granting agency. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you, um, in the same way as in the, the theme of, you know, you, using what you know and realizing what you don't, using what you know to achieve your goals. I mean, we, um, I, I think you, it's possible to study uh, the way in which your nervous system works in a beneficial way and in ways that it doesn't, and things that you yourself can do um, to keep your nervous system functioning uh, well. I know? mean, are you talking about, uh, uh, I don't know, positive emotions? Are you yeah, talking so I'll about give the you... capacity for empathy, that kind of thing? Yeah, I am talking about those things. So I'll give you one example. As people age, it's very well established that as we age, we tend to, um, uh, we're, tend to gravitate to things that will make us feel pleasant, and we tend to um, divest ourselves of things which are unpleasant. So this is a common um, strategy um, that, on average, people uh, tend to do as, as they get older. And it's a, it's a bit of a motivational strategy, meaning you can see in experiments that when you put, for example, uh, you can take glasses like this, which have a little monocle on them, and put them on people, and then you can track where they're looking, for example. And so you can see that as people age, they tend to not even look at things which are going to make them feel unpleasant. But here's the thing. Some of the things that are really good for us are unpleasant. Um, so it, exercise can feel unpleasant. And I don't mean the kind of exercise where you're hurting yourself, but you start to feel tired and unpleasant when you exercise well before you actually uh, have expended your energy. And people actually often stop exercising um, earlier than they should because they're using their feeling of unpleasantness as a cue that they need to stop. Or, for example, effort. effort physical effort, but also uh, mental effort, you know, so when you're involved in a really hard problem trying to solve it, that can actually feel really unpleasant. And as people age, some people start to avoid effortful things because they're unpleasant. That's actually really not good for your brain, and it's also not good um, for your future memory and attention. If you're one of these people who tends to avoid unpleasant feelings of effort, it's very likely that your memory is going to start to suffer earlier than if you didn't. Because that kind of effortful engagement um, actually keeps your brain healthy. The re you know, there's a saying in neuroscience, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. And you will, so atrophy will actually happen sooner for you.